Dresden, one of the most beautiful cities in Germany. Beautiful city, beautiful valleys, beautiful houses. But its beauty is threatened. The danger lurks underground, in the cellars. Rising moisture is attacking the walls, creating salt blooms. There are many methods which one can try, and there is one that helps. Dry mud, the system that delivers on its promise. Dry walls, dry house. Dry mud, the system that improves electrophoresis. This is Reinhard Stopp, the owner of a single family house. Eight years ago, his cellar was damp, too wet to use as a living space. This wall was especially overloaded, he says. He had to first solve the problem before he could build a bathroom or renovate. Dry mud came to the rescue. Eight years ago, a small regulator in the vestibule began to release small electric pulses into the wall. In a few months, the wall was dry. Then he runs his hand over the only unplastered area dried plaster streams off. The bathroom was built in the cellar five years ago. To this day, there are no problems with wet grout or loosened tiles. They are so pleased, he says, that they recommend it to other people. His son has also used it for the past few years and has had the same success. Another house, the same problem. The young people had just moved in when the cellar floor started to develop cracks. Water seeped through the cracks. The whole cellar was damp. Now. Only a few water stains are left and they will soon disappear. Reinhard Stopp's dry mart system works through induction, but that wasn't possible here. The foundation was too wet and too much water seeped through. In this house, the regulator is connected to electrodes. A few electrodes are in the house and one is buried in the yard. The electrodes create an electrical field between each other. Udo Rinner, assessor and engineer at the Leipzig Institute for Building and Construction, displays how the system functions. The electrophoresis uses the special properties of dispersed particles, like salt crystals. They move in and under the influence of an electrical field. Five electrical volts initiate the movement. The dry mart system is, at the moment, the most powerful electrophoresis system on the German market, he says. St. Petersburg, 2000 kilometers from Dresden. A metropolis full of history, a cosmopolitan city. Gorgeous palaces from the time of the Tsars. Behind their walls, one finds some of the most invaluable masterworks of art. But St. Petersburg is built on a swamp. And the water seeps into the walls and threatens the invaluable masterpieces. Here, in Sarskoyesielo, one finds the famed Emberium. The original was destroyed in World War II. Only a few pieces survived and they are held here. Catherine Palace's cellar keeps them safe from thieves. Dry mart keeps them safe from moisture. How well it works in the difficultly moist conditions of St. Petersburg is seen in the Hermitage Museum one of the most famous art collections in the world. We have tested the dry mart system, he said. 